So in a recent video, I introduced you to the concept of AI influencers earning for you. And believe it or not, people are crushing it with this strategy and they're growing social media pages using influencers that aren't actual even human beings, right? They're all AI generated. And that's a game changer when you think about it because we no longer have to be the people in our actual videos like this to build a following and monetize it. Now, I also explained in that video what FanView is, and I gave you a quick overview of how so many people are making thousands from home using AI influencers charging subscriptions on this website. And I talked about why it's the best site to use for this and why it's the only one that's going to actually let you sign up as an AI influencer and then earn as that AI influencer, right? You don't need to be yourself in the actual profile. Now, I will link that video initially at the bottom of the description. It's like a five series playlist that I'm creating on FanView and how to monetize with AI influencers, which is a massive opportunity here this year. But today in this video, I wanna dig a little bit deeper and I wanna show you exactly how you can actually create these AI influencers from scratch, step by step, right? I know a lot of people are telling you that you can do, and that's what the first initial video did. You can do it, but how do you actually do it, right? What software to use? How do you use the software? And what's the entire process, right? That way you can make videos and you can upload content to both your social media pages and your fan view and then charge for it and monetize all without ever getting on camera like this if you're uncomfortable or if you just wanna shortcut the process and you don't wanna be like the muscle behind the video creation, just let the AI do it all for you, it's totally fine, right? So in a previous video, in that first video, I covered three different softwares that are gonna do this for you. The first was makeugc.ai right here. The second was arcads.ai, and the third was Wondershare Verbo. Wondershare.net uh, obviously houses all of their stuff, but one of their specific programs is Wondershare Verbo that will create those AI influencers for you. All three of those are great. I have videos on all three of those as well, and they all work very well. But Creatify AI, which is a software that I've been using for a long time now, has their own AI influencers built in. And the really cool thing about Creatify AI, as you can see here, is you can create a realistic version of yourself if you wanna use it for something else like Amazon Influencer Program or TikTok Affiliates or whatever the case is, you can generate an AI version of yourself. Like, as you can see here, I have one of myself right here. And it will do all the heavy lifting for you so you can be on camera without actually having to be on camera yourself, right? It's really, really cool. And I will show you that here in a second. They also have a ton of other AI influencers that you can utilize and personalize, change the backgrounds for, you know, make adjustments. And I will show you that here in a second as well. Now, I've also covered in plenty of other videos how a ton of people are able to make money just talking to the camera, which is essentially what these AI influencers will do, right? Because like you see me talking here to the camera, I'm also combining that with a tutorial here on the computer, which an AI influencer can't really do, at least currently at the time of recording this, right? So to monetize in this form and fashion, you need to give content, give value, and give tips, tricks, or insights to specific problems that are niche specific within those specific subsets of niches to target specific people, keyword there is specific, said it about five times, to gear your content towards a genre of people that are looking for tips, tutorials, insights in a particular field, right? So two examples of this that I give often are the plumber example, which I hit home in the last video and how you can make plumbing tips, you know, household pipe tips, all sorts of stuff, you know, examples from my own personal life and how that's a high threshold, high pain point and high chargeability niche, which is great. Now, another one that I've been playing around with on a different page uh, on both Pinterest, YouTube, uh, Instagram, and TikTok as well is a jujitsu tips page. And it is really, really cool. So as an example, just like not spouting out information here, here's two examples of actual people. These people are not AI influencers. They're just influencers on YouTube as an example. And if I mute this really fast, this guy is just talking to the camera, right? And he's giving great tips. Like I obviously subscribe to this guy, I listen to his jujitsu tips so I can learn, uh, and he's got great tips. But the key that I want you to focus on here is he's just talking to the camera, right? An AI influencer can also do that, okay? And so he, you know, four days ago got 17,000 views. This thing's a little bit in the way. If we go back to his channel, just to show you that's not like an aberration here, go back to other videos. Again, he's talking, that's in the gym, so like kind of showing you techniques, so that wouldn't really work. Here's another one, 11 days ago, another perfect example. This guy has almost 400,000 subscribers. 
this one again right here talking to the camera that one's like kind of moving talking to the camera right here so you get the picture let's look at some of his popular ones 1.2 million just sitting there talking to the camera 1.1 million talking to the camera right nothing special you can tell an ai influencer what to say so that they can do this now another example this guy right here covering jujitsu tips talking to the camera right nothing special here he does have other videos where he you know shows different tips and tricks and again great channel to check out if you're into jujitsu i obviously subscribe and watch this channel as well but i want to hit that home because a lot of people have the objection of like how can you monetize? How can you get traffic? How can you get interest if you're just sitting there as an AI influencer talking to the camera? Well, then it becomes about the value that you're providing in the content, the tricks, all that stuff, right? The insight that you're giving to your audience, and then you can make it fun, entertaining, and helpful in a really cool way. But again, the key here is you're not the person on camera talking to the actual audience. Your AI influencer is. So to cover a specific example of how you could do this, obviously Creatify AI is a phenomenal software that I have recommended time and time and time again. There's a reason that I use this specifically for these AI influencer videos. A, because they have a ton of great AI influencers that you can choose from and personalize. So I will show you that here in a second. But also B, because if you go to the homepage, I use this software for so many different things, right? So let's go to the homepage. And you can see that they obviously have AI editing, they have text to speech, they have the AI avatars here, and they also have the AI shorts, which I will talk about briefly in another video and how you can create really cool AI shorts, essentially B-roll for your videos here. Now you can create AI shorts for TikTok, you know, Pinterest, all those places, YouTube shorts as well. And this does a phenomenal job, but you can also overlay those same AI shorts on top of your influencers videos in certain segments to add additional B-roll on top of it. So it's not just the guy sitting there talking to the camera 24 seven for five, 10 minutes straight or whatever. You can add little snippets of your AI shorts that you've already done within the same niche, right? On top of that here and there. So it's more captivating. It looks more like a video. And this combined with the AI influencers is a game changer, right? And again, the software does it all for you. You can see I literally use it here. I'm amazed at the ability of these types of softwares to do all these different tasks for you without you ever needing to really lift a finger. But again, I have another video on this. I will try to link it. It should be out by now, by the time you're watching this video. I will try to link that at the bottom of the description if you wanna check out the AI Shorts video so you can see a little bit more in depth about what I'm talking about after this video and then overlay those B-roll clips on top of these videos. But you could also see the AI avatar. So if you just click create AI avatar, you can create your own custom AI avatar like I have right here. You can also select a realistic AI avatar, a specific styled one, and go through all the different options here for you. And you can see that they have different people in different settings. And by hovering over them or even clicking on them, you can see what those people specifically look like. And you can choose that person to then talk on camera. Now, a key to think about here is you want to make one and obviously keep it the same one the entire time, right? Because if you're making like a jujitsu tips page, for example, if you have, you know, a few, few different people talking about jujitsu tips under like a broad umbrella of like an academy, that might work. So that's totally fine. But if you are like a specific, you know, influencer that you want that one person, it has to be the same person over and over again, right? And that's totally fine. So I would just keep that person the same, or again, a few different people the same. This guy looks good. He's like obviously talking in a computer setting, in an office setting like this. This guy is an example, is talking in like a uh, an office, but like a more professional office setting. This girl would be like perfect for makeup tips. She's obviously in front of a shower with her hair like all in a bun or whatever. So depending on how you want your AI avatar to look, I would start with one of these initial templates and then personalize it if you want it. So I picked Darius for mine for jujitsu tips. I think he reads well, he speaks well, and it's just kind of different than some of the other ones I played around with. So I'm going to pick him for this example. So we'll pick him. You could also favorite him. So here's an example of what he would look like. Obviously, this isn't with our actual text that we're going to make him say. Hello and welcome. Thank you for choosing Creatify.ai. This is my voice and how I sound. Allow me to deliver your message using my unique tone. Pretty freaking good, right? Pretty cool, right? And obviously you can play around with it and see other people as well. Now it is stupidly easy to make these videos. You just enter your script here. So obviously if you wanna create your own script, if you wanna do it yourself, that's totally fine. If you don't wanna do that, what you could do is perfect example here just to kind of show you that I did. I tell it all the time to create these simple short videos for me. And I literally just said, can you write me a 30 to 60 second video speaking in first person 
coming from the angle of my first jujitsu class experience. And it spit me out a script here that I can just paste in there, right? Now, key here is you don't just need to do shorts. You can also do long form video as well. Creative AI does a great job with that as well. But just to show you as an example for this video, let's take this short, paste it in there. Now, one thing I would say here is when you're doing any AI, you know, software like this, you can't have special characters in there. You need to focus on your spaces, obviously. You need to focus on your punctuation and you need to focus on not having like little things like this in there as well because it might not sound right. Also, another perfect example in this is it's speaking in slang a little bit like you're gonna feel lost. You're gonna get humbled. You don't want it to sound like that because it might not sound right with the AI speaking it. So keep that in mind. You want it to be proper. So let's just go through and edit this real fast and we'll edit out everything here. So my first jiu-jitsu class experience, uh, we don't want any of that. So it starts here with walking into my first jiu-jitsu class. Again, we're going to take this special character out and just make a space. So it doesn't, there's no ambiguity. It sounds perfect. It doesn't mess that up slightly or even give it the opportunity to, even if it wouldn't. We're also going to take this one out right there. And we're going to take the quotation marks out there. Now we'll space down. We're going to take the quotation marks out. That looks good. Delete that out. Take the quotation marks out. And again, this is a bad prompt. It's just an example for this video. But generally speaking, like you can, if you just tell ChatGPT not to write it like a script and write it like a paragraph format, sentence in paragraph format that you can just read, you know, one after the other, it typically sends it like this to you. But again, I just was doing this really fast for this example. So I am cutting a little bit of this out. Plus, it gives you a good opportunity to see how you want to structure your sentences and your scripts for the AI influencers and for Creative AI or any of these softwares because. You don't, again, want to put any of those special characters in there. So it's a good example just to show you for this video, right? So we'll space down here. Again, we're going to take this little special character out. And here's where we want to edit the slang, right? So instead of gonna, we're going to say going to. Instead of gonna, going, going, oops, can't type, going to. And same thing for that last one right there. And there we go. So now we've got the script, no special characters in there, and it reads well. So all we need to do is pick our influencer, select next and let it render. Now, as soon as it's done rendering, we can download it and I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. Now to use this, you obviously need to upgrade to one of the paid plans on Creative AI. I cannot recommend it enough. Again, not just for the AI influencers, like I'm going to show you here, but also for the AI shorts. And I even use this for TikTok shop and TikTok affiliates as well. And TikTok creator rewards program. I have like videos on all of those. I've done so many Creative AI tutorials. I've been talking and preaching this software for probably like two years now. It is phenomenal. I stand behind it 100%. Affiliate link in the description, full disclosure. But again, I would recommend this even if they didn't pay me commission to obviously recommend it to you. It is a high quality software, as you can see, for a ton of use cases currently right now this year. So obviously you can play around with it and edit it if you want to. And generally speaking, it always does a really good job. So you'd render it, you'd export it if you were happy with it, of course. And here is exactly what that video looks like. Walking into my first jujitsu class, I had no idea what to expect. I thought I'd be learning crazy submissions, but instead, I spent most of the class learning how to fall, shrimp, and escape bad positions. And let me tell you, just moving on the mats was harder than I thought. At first, everything felt overwhelming. And again, that is how easy and how high quality it can be by just utilizing a software like this. Now, again, you're going to want to post these videos to your social media build a following and obviously build that rapport do the gary v jab 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 right hook strategy i cover that in the other videos in the fan view playlist and then of course link to your fan view so you can get signups and monetize your audience for again further tips further tutorials further insights that they already are interested in and that is the easiest way to monetize relatively fast so try Creative AI out if you haven't already. Test VanView out as well. Sign up. Start building your AI influencers page because the sooner you start, the sooner you can get to monetization and it doesn't take very long, right? Just run the numbers, have some fun with it. If you have a few dozen subscribers, you can add up pretty fast, right? And then obviously as you add more and more, it starts to compound very, very quickly and it gets really exciting really quick. So really hope this helps guys. Any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next one.